Hello everyone, welcome to Tarot So Fine, and uh, this reading is going to be for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising signs for the first week of March 2020. I'm using the Tarot de la Nuit for your reading. I'll pull three cards and check the bottom card as usual. Always like doing that. So um, let's see. What does Aquarius need to know for the first week of the month? I'm recording this on March 1st, so this reading could apply to today as well, if you're watching it today. Okay. What does Aquarius need to know? Wow. A little jumpy there. Your cards feel really clumsy. Oh, you get the uh, the extra card in this deck. Angel de la nuit, Angel de la nuit. Well, you must be special then. Hmm. I'll uh, consider that as an extra card. Okay, so your first card is uh, Four of Pentacles. Isn't that beautiful? I love the artwork in this deck. Next one is the Ten of Cups. Nice. Third card, Queen of Swords. Bottom card, the Emperor, the Emperor. I'm having a hard time talking today. I'm all tongue tied. Okay. So, let me look. The Queen of Swords in this deck is not like other Queen of Swords. She doesn't come across as uh, ready to strike with her sword. She seems humble or um, submissive. And when I had it on the spread out here, it's interesting it's like the Emperor is looking at her and the Emperor I'm having a really hard time saying the oh maybe I should say it in French the Emperor seems easier he's like really checking her out and he he is someone who holds a lot of power um, they're very strong. The, their character is very strong, very masculine energy. So perhaps the energy of the Empereur is so powerful, so strong and masculine that it uh, makes the Queen of Swords demure, submissive. Uh, we have the Four of Pentacles. 
in the Ten of Cups. In the Four of Pentacles here, this woman, she's sitting inside a room with a, a view, two windows with two different views. And it looks like she doesn't want to budge. And after that card, we have the Ten of Cups. And we have a woman that's outside exploring the gardens. I feel like someone needs to come out. Someone needs to come out and uh, explore the garden. <laughs> Perhaps the garden of love because she has hearts dangling from her belt here. This person doesn't look too happy sitting inside. So I feel like the message is that there's a masculine energy that is wanting this queen to uh, warm up. Because this is a warm, very warm colors for a sword, a queen of swords. I think she's harboring, I think she's harboring a passion inside of her, but she's not revealing it kind of like this person sitting inside they seem kind of uh, reserved and unwilling to budge that's a four and then the the emperor El Pera, is a four as well so I think this masculine energy wants um, the feminine energy to express her passions I think he knows that she's holding them in he if she's not expressing it he can see it he can he can feel it he can see it she's oozing passion her aura is showing passion here even though she's not saying or doing anything the emperor in this card has the moon in the background there's also a moon in one of these windows so a uh, moon is very intuitive and dreamy so uh I think the Emperor has picked up on this passion and he's waiting for her to come out, come out and play, <laughs> come out and play with him. Um, I'm being funny, but yes, he's wanting her to open up to him because he has, I think he has a lot of passion too and he can be guarded as well. But he's noticed, he's noticed her. It's almost like she has a scent on her that he's, he's sniffing out. I'm saying that because there's flowers in the garden. So this extra card, Angel de la Nuit, it talks about uh, someone who's went through very difficult time and the card is saying that you don't need to worry anymore because we have your back everything's gonna be all right so that works very well with the spread this card is saying that 
whoever the female energy I think it's more the female energy but I think the Emperor too but I think he's he can handle this he's just waiting for the sign from her the go-ahead I think it's the female energy that is a bit worried because they've been through some uh, nasty times and um, they're a little bit intimidated because this queen of swords she does look a little bit intimidated but she has this burning passion that despite her lack of expressing it or doing anything about it it's emanating from her and he has definitely taken notice So, someone has to make a move. Someone needs to give the, uh, the green light. It feels like the green light. And then from there, everything will be just fine. So that's what I get for the sign of Aquarius. Um, I, I hope you got something out of that. And... Uh, Leave me your comments. I like to read your comments. And uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. And uh, we'll see you for the following reads. Bye for now.